Fishers and welcome to another episode. Hope you've all been well, dipping a line in and catching a few. So today we're going to go to the same location as the uh, first few videos that I made, only because I originally want to go to another location. However, with time being a factor here, um, I can't make it to that location. So I'm only going to go out for a couple of hours or so. Um, today I really want to catch a winter king if possible or some larger um, silver trevally. Uh, they're my target species for today. Anything in between will just be a bonus, really. Currently, the tide is rising. Um, the change of tide is going to happen in about an hour and a half, so it allows me time to get there. Uh, we're going to be fishing with uh, good old pilchards again. I think they're really working well. I tried um, squid, uh, squid strips the other day, and nothing really wanted to um, take them, so I'm going to go back to pilchards. Um, cube them up, put them whole for the larger stuff. I'll try to get some live bait if I can, if there's any yellow tail in the water or some squid or anything like that, uh, we'll use for the larger species. We'll see how we go, fingers crossed. Pretty sure you guys know what I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna go for these pilchards. Quite big today, which is good. I just generally pick out the ones that are the most straight. Let me go for these ones here. So yeah guys, uh, as you saw, I just got my pilchards now. Uh, we're gonna head to the location. The water's holding at about 19 degrees at the moment. Today's gonna actually be a beautiful day at 22 degrees, so I'm really stoked about that. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we go. Just fingers crossed today, everything's looking in our favor. My biggest goal today is to break in the new rod. Not break it, hopefully, but break it, break it in catch a good size fish on it. Second goal is catch a good size trevally and the ultimate goal is to catch a winter kingfish. So fingers crossed, hope I can get some good footage for you guys. We have made it guys. So it looks pretty good, it looks a bit windy but we'll see how we go. Full pilly on a gang hawk, size three. See what's out there. Pin the last one on its spine for an anchorage point so it doesn't rip away when you cast. of the day guys I can just feel it on my rod tip and the line tugging away it's not the biggest fish in the world however it's probably the smallest <laughs> round two guys that last bait got picked so yeah they're liking the larger pilchard they're picking that apart but they can't seem to find the cube pilly so, so here we go, hopefully I can get something for you guys. Didn't catch it on uh, camera guys, this drag peeled, maybe two hits, and whatever it was, it spat out, so I can feel my pillies gone. But it's a good sign, maybe I won't get a donut after all. i really small bites on this medium outfit guys. You can see my line getting hit, so it's probably something small in the water. Hopefully it doesn't run for you now, that'd be nice. There it, oh, see it? There it goes. Very small. Oh yeah, first fish of the day, guys. 
he's maybe he's good. Come up. Come up. It's good. It's good trevally. We are at 34 and a half, 34 and a half guys. Beautiful. Legal's 30 centimeters in New South Wales, so he's a keeper. We'll think about what we're gonna do. If we get something a bit bigger, I'll release this guy. It was barely hooked too. Beautiful fish. Guys, we just went past straight ahead. A bit to the right to compensate for the wind. What does it feel like? Take your time, Nara. It's better to tire him out there than here. Nice. He's deep, keep pumping, keep pumping. Nice head. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, beautiful. No worries, bud. It's good, really good hook set. Look at that. 34. I didn't get that on camera, guys, but I was just pulling my bait in to check it, and I noticed it was still on. And when I was pulling it back and spinning it, something took me for a wild ride, and then just unhooked so pretty disappointed just very small bites guys so guys i'm just running low on pilchers at the moment so i've just put a uh, size 4 circle hook on for something a bit bigger while i leave it in the rod holder so i'm just going to pin that through and see what we can get beautiful release the drag because it is a bit windy so it just holds in the spool a bit better and we're on very small Well, this guy he does have those little spikes near his spikes near his bull rakes there, like the flat here. Not really. Not really either. Um, let's net him and just get the hook out. Let's do that. Uh, come on, buddy. Who doesn't want to go? The only thing that's getting touched at the moment is uh, the full pilly on the gang talks. Nothing's touching this cube pilly on this size one hook. Absolutely nothing. So, I hope something decent will find a larger bait. Ah, uh, should be alright. Nah. Wouldn't end him up anyway, just in case if it's a Trevally. I reckon maybe flathead. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Oh, it's legal snapper. Look at that, look at his belly. Yeah. He's full. Here we go, guys. A 32 centimeter snapper. Legal, beautiful. Another one on, guys. Just a, probably a little snapper again. Small. Alright, so I hope that's it. He's gone. Hey fishers, hope you enjoyed that. I just uh, finished up fishing and I've left the location. So yeah guys, I'm pretty stoked about the day. We've got some good quality fish, all legal, all beautiful table eating fish. Um, extremely stoked. Uh, I was a bit slow to start, however, we did okay towards the end. That snapper did save us. Um, so yeah, pretty stoked. As always guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, feel free to smash the subscribe button, hit the like and share with your friends. Until next time, tight lines and thanks for watching cheers Computer.